viewers everybody welcome back to the next episode of the advanced VIX SEO strategy and today we're going to cover how you can optimize your speed on your Wix website in order to make your website load a lot faster which actually is one of the most important aspects that Google takes a look at before ranking your website so let's just give you a quick example so you have a website that takes 10 seconds to load and a website to take around two seconds to load obviously Google are gonna prioritize the two second website says this is a more user friendly website. Even if you think about it yourself, if you go on a website that takes 10 seconds to load each and every page, you're most likely going to just leave the page and go to the next result in Google. So we are going to go through how you can optimize for speed in order to make your website load a lot faster in order for you to rank your website under your specific keyword. So let's just get right into it and hopefully you guys enjoy. If you want more videos like this one, make sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel for more content around SEO, digital marketing, and anything else you guys want me to cover. So let's get right into this video and hope you guys enjoy. So as you can see, this is my very beautiful website that we made a few months ago when I showed you guys how to design your Wix website. As you can see, my design skills are uh, very good and um, therefore we are going to use this website as an example for this guide. So just to give you guys a start off point when you want to optimize your Wix website for speed is that images and videos are content that takes a long time to load since images and videos are huge files or a lot bigger files compared to text, which is quite easy for your computer to load, right? So what I like to start off doing is make sure that all my images on my website are optimized. And in order to optimize your images, you can do it in a, in a lot of different ways. Uh, but one of the ways I like to do it is using a online compressor. What this compressor is essentially is going to do uh, is making your image file a lot smaller without compromising the quality of the image. So your image is still going to be high quality even though the file itself is still going to look very good. So let's just take this image as an example. We have a field right here. Uh, which is looking very beautiful with this white text and black text that you can barely see. So let's just start off by changing uh, the column background for this one. So the column background we have is this one, which is from Wix. And I'm not quite sure if Wix themselves actually compresses their own images. But let's take a new image as an example. So let's go to Unsplash. And Unsplash is a website where you can get free images uh, that are usually high quality. So let's just go ahead and search for we. So we can probably find something similar to what we already had on our website. So this image right here looks quite good. Uh, it's definitely high quality. As you can see, the image is very high quality. And therefore, this image is going to be quite large. The file itself is going to be quite large. So when you download the images or the image itself, it's going to be a JPEG file. So images can be different files depending on where you get it. Uh, PNG and JPEG are normally the most common ones. So let's download this JPEG file. And let's open compressjpeg.com. Okay. So load up this website and scroll down and just drag and drop the new image you got for your website or the image you already have on your computer okay so you can do this with any images you have okay so just by adding this file to this website i just compressed the file and made it 17 percent smaller than it originally was and that essentially means that your website now has 17 percent less files it has to be stored on the site and 17% less uh, less files that someone visiting your website has to load. So let's just get this image, press download, and there we go, we got it. And let's change this background right here, image. Let's just drag and drop it, and there we go. Change the background. And all of a sudden we have a image which is a lot less quality on the side. So what you now want to do is do this with 
every image on your website. Every image on your website website should be optimized. So compress every image you add to your website. And if you already have a lot of images on your website, you are going to have to redo all your images in order to get your speed optimized a lot better. So when we continue on on our uh, pretty website right here, you can see that we have a lot of different elements on our website. Uh, what Wix does is a lot of these elements are usually really clunky. Uh, something people usually have is a video header. And if you have a video header, it's definitely gonna take a long time for people to load this video. Imagine if you have a very low connection, imagine if you're on your phone, whatever it can be, this website is definitely gonna take a long time if we would have had a video up here. So if you do have a video on your website as your header or on your main page on your website, uh, make sure that you at least you don't have to remove it, but make sure to just test it out. Is the website gonna lo load a lot faster if I change this to an image instead? Do I have to have the video? Uh, th uh, the video, does it have to have autoplay or can I just let my users uh, play the video if they want to, or should I just keep it on autoplay? So make sure you test it around, see what works best for your website. Uh, I don't recommend you to use videos uh, at least on your front page. Uh, other elements you have on your website like sliders and stuff are usually also very heavy, but if it's a vital part of your design of your website, you can definitely keep it on there, but make sure that your images themselves are uh, optimized as well. So th these images right here are not optimized. I would change these out and optimize them or compress them in order to make the website load a lot faster. Another quite easy fix to get your load speed down is go to menus and pages on the side and go to page transitions. What these are is that when you go from one page to another page on your website, uh, it's gonna have some sort of transition, right? Kind of like when you do a presentation and you have your slides uh, that have some kind of a slide effect when, when moving to the next slide in your slideshow, right? This is gonna take a lot longer for people to load. So what I would recommend you to do is just press none and don't use transitions at all. It's usually not gonna do anything. Uh, it doesn't really look that good anyways. So just keep your, uh, keep your transitions off. Another way of optimizing the speed of your Wix website is to make sure that you're not using too much animations of uh, your elements on, that you have on your page. Uh, so just to give you an example, let's say we have our contact us thing right here. And what people usually want to do is add a quick animation like a bouncing, gliding, whatever you have, fading. What you wanna try to do is not have everything animated. First of all, it's not gonna look good if everything is just flying in and folding in and reeling and flipping and sliding in and arching in. It's not gonna look good. It's gonna look like a early 2010 website where people just go ham on their animations. It can be cool to have on some elements on your website, I get it. Uh, I usually try to use animations barely. Uh, on some elements I do. But what you wanna try to do is just keep these off. Whatever you do, just keep them off. Some elements, sure, go ahead, use your animations. But think about that this is not gonna really add a lot of value to your website other than just being confusing and making your page speed a lot worse. So keep your animations to a minimum and that is one of my best advice for you. Another very important part of your website is that you don't use too much images. Just as I said with your compressed images, you can use images. Images are a very good way of showing people your product or whatever, you're just adding a design element. Usually what I do is have a image right here and then you have a text here in like different blocks, which usually is a very good go-to design. Uh, it looks very good, very clean. Uh, but what you don't wanna do is just go ahead and adding a bunch of images everywhere on your website. So just to give you guys an example, what I would not do on my website is go ahead and add one of these. Uh, let's see here, image gallery and just add a pro gallery right here. Uh, 
what these galleries usually do is just slow down your website immensely. So an element like this is gonna take a long time to load and I get it as well, it can be a good design element, but what you wanna do is, if you're using this element right here, what you wanna do is compress all these files before you add them to your website and make sure you don't have a bunch of images. Just add a few of these images somewhere on your website. Don't add a bunch of them, okay? Keep your images to a minimum. Uh, text is also a great way of doing good design, so make sure you're using a lot of text as well as images, but you don't wanna overdo your images. And if you are like a photographer or something like that, uh, then it's gonna be okay for you to have a lot of images because that's what you do. You, you do photography, so people want to see your images. But let's say you're selling websites. Let's say you're selling a, a dog treats. Images are going to be important, but not as important as a photographer, right? So keep your uh, images to a minimum in order to optimize for a, a more user-friendly website. Another very important step in order to optimize your website is to make sure that your text on your website has uh, the same fonts. And what this is gonna do is, uh, you know, the, the, the person visiting, visiting your website is not gonna have to load all these different fonts. Uh, and it's also gonna be a very good design choice. So if all your text on your website has the same font, or at least keep it to two fonts, it's gonna be definitely better looking and it's gonna be less heavy on your website. Another good advice about fonts is try to use fonts that are kind of uh, lighter. So this font right here is definitely gonna be a lot lighter for people to load uh, compared to, let's say, a very heavy font like this one. So try to not make huge text, try to not use big fonts and um, try to make everything look clean. But if it's part of your design, you don't wanna risk your design just because of page speed. So if your company is a kid store and what kid lettering or kid fonts usually are very big. So you're probably gonna have to use bigger fonts. So in case it's part of your website or part of your branding, uh, don't, you don't change it because of sp page speed, okay? It's not gonna be worth it, but if you're able to change your fonts, do it. Use lighter fonts, use Google fonts preferably, and that is definitely gonna increase the speed of your website. Okay, so the very last step of my guide is gonna be try to keep your third-party apps to a minimum. As you can see on Wix, you have the store right here, the app market. And on the app market, you can get third-party apps which usually can help your website either in design or add functionalities, whatever it can be. But what you don't wanna do is add a bunch of these. Add the ones that you really need, let's say you want online bookings, use that one, okay? But don't go ahead and add everything you have on here because these are gonna add a lot of code which is gonna be heavy to load for your users which is definitely not gonna help your website in the long term. And one of these very heavy apps are definitely gonna be uh, live chats are definitely very heavy. And another thing that people are using is Hotjar. And if you're using Hotjar, uh, you definitely wanna think about removing Hotjar since it's a very heavy code that they put on your website, which is definitely gonna decrease the loading speed of your website. So if you're using third-party tracking websites like Hotjar, uh, try to remove them if you want, if you really if you really want to optimize for speed, try to get rid of them, okay? Just try to get rid of them and just keep yourself to Google Analytics and Google Search Console and probably you want to add your Facebook uh, pixel and that's about it. That's what I usually go for, but if you want to add third party uh, tracking things to your website, just go ahead and do it. But I usually keep it to Google Analytics uh, to Search Console and the Facebook Pixel, that's about it. So that is gonna be it for this video of how to optimize for speed on your Wix website, which is part of my series on how to optimize your 
Vix websites in order to get better rankings in Google. If you want to watch more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and if you have any questions or if you're confused about something in this video, comment it down below and I'll get back to you with an answer. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the very next video.